Today we visit Monterey Regional Airport, which has been on our bucket list for quite a while. And after coming here not just once, but twice, it is easily one of our top five favorite airports. Montgomery is a friendly towered airport with two runways, one zero right, two eight left at 7,175 by 150 feet, and one zero left, two eight right at 3,503 by 60 feet. Personally, left traffic for two eight left kept me on my toes as I felt. I was pretty close to the hills on our right as you saw, but it was never a problem. I'm just extra conservative about altitudes which is why I was pretty high here. And with the 7,000 foot runway and the FBO being all the way on the departure end, there was no rush to get down. Now let's talk weather. This is a quintessential coastal airport because the marine layer is nearly always a factor, especially in the mornings. When I left home this morning, the airport was socked in, but luckily ceilings lifted enough for a VFR approach. I was with flight following, so I was fully prepared to shoot an IFR approach if I needed to, which is exactly what I had to do the second time I came to ILS minimums, no less. Not something I'm looking to make a habit out of, but there's a reason you learn go missed during IFR training. And I was seconds from going full throttle and diverting to Salinas airport a couple of miles away, but we broke out the clouds just in time. Hotel, city parking. Monterey Jet Center, 39 Hotel. Air 39 Hotel, left turn, Kilo, taxi to Jet Center via Alpha Echo, monitor ground, 120.87 to the ramp. Have a good day. Left on Kilo and Monterey Alpha Echo, 39 Hotel. Thank you. Number 39 Hotel, monitor ground. Monitor ground, 39 Hotel. Monterey is a commercial airport with airlines such as Alaska, American, and JSX, just to name a few. So naturally, there is a commercial terminal. The airport is in the middle of construction to relocate Taxiway Alpha. Currently, you'll see some construction south of Taxiway Alpha, which looks like it's starting with the land adjacent to the terminal. So just note that in the coming months, Taxiway Alpha could look very different. Officially, Monterey was opened in 1941 by the local communities when they formed the Monterey Peninsula Airport. And of course, the war happened and the Navy leased the land and opened Naval Auxiliary Air Station Monterey, which was open until 1972. Unfortunately, there is no transient parking, but Monterey has two FBOs, Del Monte Aviation and Monterey Jet Center, which were highly rated according to the Pilot's Yelp, otherwise known as Four Flights Comment Section. And so why did we choose Monterey Jet Center? Because we wanted access to a crew car. And as far as we could tell, Del Monte doesn't have crew cars, which we could be wrong, but we couldn't find it. Now, we were going to visit Del Monte on our last visit since we knew we'd be renting a car, but most of their building was under construction, so we opted not to. But if you've been to Del Monte, we'd love to hear your experience. Monterey Jet Center has become our favorite FBO so far of any airport because every single time our experience has been nothing short of spectacular, as they have been courteous and just a completely smooth visit. And no, they didn't pay us to say this, not that we would mind. All right, listen up my J pilots. You ever wanna feel like a VIP, even in the midst of all those private jets? When you enter the building, go straight ahead and there are private pilot rooms. It's one of the few times that private jet passengers are wondering what's back there. Honestly, I'm sure they have access just like all of us, but they rarely ever go. And as always, we'll put a cost breakdown in the description below. Oh, and one more thing to make you feel like a million bucks is renting a car and having it parked right where you are parking your plane. Just make sure you reserve the car through Monterey Jet Center as they get a crew discount.
So we typically don't travel in the middle of summer, but in late July, early August, it's peak time for people to travel into Monterey. It's packed with people and we were told that the week after our visit, it's insane because it's car week. And by car week, I don't mean any cars. These are cars that contend in one of the ritziest car shows we have ever seen. And it all culminates at Pebble Beach, if that tells you anything. Both FBOs are closed this week unless you do a 24-hour prior permission request. So to summarize, there is construction that will change how Taxiway Alpha looks in the coming months. There is no transient parking, but there are two highly rated FBOs and expect marine layers to last into the early afternoon with low ceilings. Everything about this airport is scenic, even the departure. So go fly, go discover.